A Louisville judge says Attorney General Daniel Cameron can have two more days to redact the Breonna Taylor grand jury recordings before they must be turned over to the court. 20 hours worth. Shay McAllister is now with more on that means. The Attorney General asked for a one week extension to redact personal information of witnesses throughout the 20 hours of recording. The judge gave him two days instead. Calls for transparency Release the will be answered on Friday. A judge giving Attorney General Daniel Cameron a few more days to go through the 20 hours of audio recordings and redact. It's certainly not unreasonable or impossible to understand why there could be legitimate concerns about allowing the identity of witnesses or other participants to be known at this stage of the case. Markison says it'll come down to the judge and jury member who came forward to check the AG's redactions and ensure they're fair. Because if that grand juror believes that what is released to the public ends up causing a misleading picture of what happened in the grand jury, I think we would expect through his or her attorney for that to be known pretty quickly. Cameron says they need the extra time to redact names and personal identifiers for the protection of witnesses or other private citizens that testified or were mentioned over the course of the two day proceeding. Now, those calling for the release are hoping it will bring answers. I think we will get some certainty and clarity on who decided what and therefore who should be accountable for those decisions. Markison said the judge giving the AG's team two more days instead of the full one week they asked for sends a clear message that she isn't interested in giving any more extensions past Friday. Doug?